would you feel about getting a pop-up advertisement on your cell phone from a personal injury attorney the very second you walk into an emergency room? We're talking about geofencing or marketing inside the perimeter of an emergency room. Let's define what we mean by geofencing first and then talk about how it's moved into the healthcare space and then talk about what some of the consequences of that might look like. Now, geofencing is just a digital perimeter. Uh, it could be established by GPS coordinates. It's a virtual boundary around a space, and it can trigger a response when a device crosses that space. It's being used in multiple formats over the last decade. Uh, it could be something that you have an app on your cell phone so that when you come home at night and cross the threshold of your front door, your lights turn on. It's an automatic setting. It's been used in the retail space for when you walk into a department store and cross the front door perimeter, your cell phone gets an advertisement of a sale that's happening at that department store. It's been used in advertising and marketing sector and in the personal home for many years, but it is moving into the healthcare space. Now, it's being used by a couple different types of companies, law firms, personal injury attorneys for one, and marketing companies, and advertisers hired by the hospital or facility itself. Now, this isn't new. It's been several years that it's been growing, but it's been adopted with much more urgency more recently as more advertising and marketing firms are pushing this to their healthcare provider partners. It's being built as a patient engagement strategy. One marketing firm says uh, an engaged patient is a happy patient. Make sure you're staying engaged with them on their cell phone while they're in your ER waiting room. Now, it's been catching on and consumers and providers have very different opinions of what this means to them. One advertiser is encouraging hospitals to build their brand growth, to push the message they want their patients to hear while they're sitting in the emergency room. And they say, give them something to read while they're on their healthcare journey. Now, concerns come from the consumers that are a little bit more afraid of the privacy angle. Even if there isn't an explicit privacy violation, many consumers sitting in that emergency room said they had felt violated the trust issue that they maybe thought, how are people accessing that I, uh, my information? How do they even know I'm here? Is raising a lot of concerns with consumers. They say there was no knowledge, no consent by the consumer to get information to their phone, to their device, to gather what they could see as medical information. Now, other exports take it a, experts take it a step further and they warn of Consumer Protection Act violations, even so far as to call it digital harassment. Now, others argue, well, the law just hasn't really kept up with this kind of issue. Now, the HIPAA protections of privacy that exist in the healthcare space don't really capture this digital marketing and record keeping age. It applies in very different ways. And of course, federal regulators, as they are in a lot of these technology spaces, are very slow to respond. So as consumers are giving feedback saying that they feel like there's an erosion of trust in the healthcare envi environment, other people are saying, well, I'm okay with some ads. I'm okay learning a little bit more about my healthcare facility. But what happens if that turns into something a little bit more aggressive, like those ads from personal injury attorneys wanting your business the second you go into the emergency room, or reminders from debt collectors, they know where you are once you cross the threshold of your hospital, or the billing office is using it for evil, or this trend in geoconquering, not geofencing, geoconquering. And that's a term that has been used a little bit more and really was made public when it happened in a very harmful way in the state of Massachusetts. Geoconquering is placing an ad around a competitor's clinic or hospital or any environment. So picture that you go into hospital A in the emergency room and you get an ad on your phone the second you pop into that hospital from the rival hospital across the street saying, why are you sitting in that emergency room? You could be using ours for your business. And, and stealing other customers is geoconquering. This was a really big issue in Massachusetts when a, a pregnancy center, a Christian pregnancy center, targeted people's phones the moment they walked into a Planned Parenthood clinic with advertisements and messages um, and, and, and trying to convince the women that are going into Planned Parenthood not to use that service. The attorney general for the state of Massachusetts brought a lawsuit. They got a settlement at the end of it that 
prohibited geofencing, especially geoconquering, around all healthcare facilities in the entire state of Massachusetts. They did this early. They were one of the first states to really challenge geofencing in the healthcare environment. They really saw the damage of geoconquering. And Massachusetts has a very strict consumer act that allowed them to attach to that. Wisconsin is a state that also has a very strong consumer act. The Wisconsin Consumer Act protects patients and consumers in a healthcare environment, a lot of times in the area of collections and harassment. It would be really interesting to see how geofencing and geoconquering could fit into that conversation. A lot of states, a lot of attorneys, a lot of marketing firms haven't looked at a lot of the very specific state rules on the subject matter, and some states are a little slow to change. So there's a lot to be read. There's a lot more to come on this subject matter. We've been following it as it starts impacting more states across the United States. I think you're going to start hearing a lot more about it. You can read up on some articles that I've written lately. You can read more on that case in Massachusetts, that settlement that impacted all healthcare facilities and what the consequences were there. And you can send us your questions, or if you want more information, send us an email. You can do that at healthwatchwisconsin.org. Thanks for joining us.